lovely day everyone thank you so much for clicking on my video once again uh, so today we are going to be taking a deeper look at the nomad charcoal grill my last video was more of a showcase uh, today i actually want to talk a little bit more about like uh, the good stuff and the bad stuff uh, we're also going to be cooking a, a steak so we're going to be prepping that pretty soon right now we have the uh, actual charcoal uh, firing up should be ready pretty soon it's a beautiful Wednesday afternoon here at Burnham Harbor. Have my boat right there. My son, my wife, just hanging out here. Okay, so it seems that the charcoal is uh, burning pretty good. We're gonna toss it on the grill. And uh, we're just going to fix it up, so put it a little bit more on this side. That right there is uh, the vent hole. You want to make sure you don't um, have anything blocking that because that's where the air is going to be coming in from. And uh, we're going to kind of create like a two-zone fire here for the steak. Try to throw as much as possible around this side, again without blocking the vent. I think that looks pretty good. Now we're going to throw uh, the actual grill grate on here. So let's close it up. Let the temperature rise. So as you can see, we have a thermostat right there, which comes in handy. Very nice. I've never actually had a charcoal grill that had a thermostat, so it's nice to have that. Uh, you gotta make sure your vent's open. All right, so we're gonna be cooking a tomahawk steak from Mariano. Get a little closer so you can really get a good look at this bad boy. Check that out. Look at that. Wow, I could eat this like this. We're going to cook it, just for the video. Alright, so let's put this tomahawk on the grill. We have it at about 400 degrees now. Here we go. Now we're just going to butter it up here. You want to add a little butter too? Yeah. Alright, here. Grab the brush. And then just put it on the, on the steak, okay? Like you're painting. There we go. Whoa! Great job! Alright guys, so the steak is looking really good. I have it on the cold side now. All the charcoal's over on this side. Just to kind of let it cook a little bit more from the inside. But uh, yeah, it's looking really good. I just buttered it up. Should be ready pretty soon. Looks like the steak is ready. Uh, Slice up a few more uh, pieces here. I'll taste it. All right, so there we have it. It looks really good. Now we're gonna take it on the boat and uh, actually eat it, taste it, see how it came out. All right, so we got the steak on the boat, and uh, now we are gonna give it a taste. See what it actually tastes like. It tastes like. Let me try. Hmm. Go ahead. Pull it. Mmm. Whoa. Mmm. How is it? Good. Mm. Thumbs up? Thumbs up. <laughs> Alright, so we just finished cooking. The steak was pretty delicious. I think I should have added a little bit more seasoning and it would have came out perfect. Uh, but yeah, let's talk a little bit more about the grill. Uh, what I like and what I dislike. 
I'll start with the things that I do not like. Um, so obviously I think uh, that it does not have legs. Uh, you know, that'd be pretty nice for it to have like uh, some sort of stand that's made for it. it would be pretty cool, uh, but it does not. No problem though. I got this table here. Again, I got this on Amazon for about $60, $70 or so. Um, and uh, yeah, it's not like super duper sturdy steel heavy duty but uh but it does the job I, I do not see this collapsing or falling on me uh so i'm very happy with it and i like how it's sort of like mesh so uh it's very easy to keep clean all right uh the next thing i do not like uh that i think uh, should improve and i think this is a problem that a lot of people have had uh the actual vent there so you open it up and you close that's uh an in and up here has a second one which you can open uh, or keep it at uh, medium there. <clears throat> I feel that there's not enough uh, air circulation inside. Um, when I, the first, about the first three times I used it, I, I struggled keeping the temperature high. Uh, but I figured out a little solution that uh, helped me out a bunch and really allowed for the temperature to rise uh, over that 400 degrees for grilling uh, and it's pretty much the tonsils here here's what i do i open this up a little bit and stick them in there and that just allows enough air to come in for the temperature to really get nice and hot obviously you can also just open it up completely and that's going to allow a bu bunch of oxygen in there and last probably thing that i do not like about the grill is uh, the actual vent here um, i don't like how it just sticks out um, kind of makes it hard to when you're storing it away uh, put it um, sideways has that one right there and this one right there so the only way you can really store it is just kind of like facing up or laid out flat like this let's talk about the stuff that i do like there's a lot of things that i do like about this grill I like how it's so uh, compact. I like how it's so easy to transport. Um, I like how it's made. It, it definitely feels like a very heavy duty grill that's gonna last for many, many years, which is very important. This grill is definitely not for everyone though. I think this is a grill that's made for people who like to uh, grill elsewhere, where they're not gonna be just grilling in their backyard sort of thing. So uh, it fits my lifestyle very nicely because I'm always grilling out somewhere else like today again we're at the harbor this is where i keep my boat um so yeah decided to come out here and grill uh, i like going to the lake a lot i've used it this summer a bunch of times so i think it's made for that for really like that getting up and going somewhere else to grill it's sort of like a little briefcase you just close it up here and take it to go the other thing i really like about the grill is the grates so look at that it's got the nomad logo right there i really love that about this grill those grates are beautiful the temperature gauge here is very nice as well so pros that it's compact very easy to carry around very rugged it's going to last you for a very long time cons um air ventilation i think they should have done a little bit of a better job for that but there's ways to uh, make it work price probably price could be priced a little bit better i don't mind paying for it because i feel like this is something that i use a bunch and i will continue to use a lot so uh i, I was all right with the price it wasn't a big deal i did get 20 percent off so that really helped me get the full package the grill and the accessories a little bit cheaper overall i give this uh grill uh let's see out of 10 i'll give it a i'll say an eight a solid eight i use it a lot and i've really enjoyed using the grill uh oh uh another thing uh things that they could probably work on and uh maybe some things that they can uh, come out with some new accessories would be something to hold this up to just hold it up a little bit something that you could probably put in those corners there that would just kind of hold it together you don't always want to be having to hold it up with your hand here uh, so that'd be pretty nice if they had something like that right All right, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Again, please don't forget to uh, subscribe, uh, like, comment below. Let me know what you think. Enjoy the rest of your day.
and the tummy has steak. And the two fingers have 